Okay, our topic is Sterling Engine. Contents, the introduction, the Sterling Engine, types of Sterling Engine, parts of Sterling Engine, Sterling Cycle, advantages and applications, and conclusion. The introduction, so an engine without any exhaust gas is a marriage, or it can be reality. The answer for this is definitely yes. We can have an engine without any exhaust gas and that is as Sterling engine is. The Sterling engine is a heat engine that is vastly different from an internal combustion engine. Sterling engines have two pistons that create a 90 degree phase angle and two different temperature space. The working gas in the engine is perfectly sealed and doesn't go in and out to the atmosphere. The Stirling engine uses a Stirling cycle, which is unlike the cycles used in normal internal combustion engines. Stirling engine The gas used inside Stirling engine never leaves the engine. The Stirling cycle uses external heat source which could be anything from gasoline to be solar energy to heat produced by decaying plants. Types of Stirling engine Two pistons type Stirling engine and displacer type Stirling engine. Types of Stirling engines Two pistons types of Stirling engines is look at the picture. So we can see the hot piston, crankshaft, the hot air, the cold air, the cold piston, and the flywheel revolution. This is the 90 degree phase angle is needed here. And the displacer type sterling engine. We can see also the displacer, cold air, crankshaft, flywheel rev uh, with revolution power piston and hot air in the inner part part so 90 degree, degree phase angle is needed here parts of sterling engine main chamber output shaft shaft displacer power piston crankshaft and regenerator the expansion of sterling cycle The construction Look at the picture how piston work and how Sterling cycle process The advantages there is no exhaust in these engines like other engines These engines are quitter in operation Gas inside the cylinder ne never leaves the engine the external heat source could be anything, even heat from our hand. No combustion takes place inside cylinder of engine, hence there is no explosion. Applications, heating and cooling, solar power generation, heat pump, marine engines, domestic purpose, nuclear power, chip cooling. Recent application, uh, the force Cylinders pre piston alpha engine and the four piston wobble yuk machine. Sterling thermal motor. The parts swash plate drive, color, piston, regenerator, combustion, and heater tubes. Conclusion Engine can work on any type of fuel, whether it is conventional or non conventional fuel. The basic advantage of this engine is that the amount of gas inside the chamber remains fixed that is there is no exhaust and hence this engine is pollutionless meaning is not polluted due to this pollution free and use of any type of fuel characteristics the sterling engine has greater potential over any other type of engine existing today.
Hence, this engine is highly preferred in automobile sector, finding its application in submarines to hybrid cars. So, this is the uh, example problem of our Stirling engine topics. An ideal Stirling engine with air as the working fluid is considered. The temperature of the source energy reservoir, the amount of air contained in the engine, and the maximum air pressure during the cycle are to be determined. The assumptions. Air is an ideal gas with with constant specific heats. Properties. The properties of air at room temperature are R is equal to 0 0.3704 PSIE cubic feet pound mass Rankine. The constant pressure is 0 0.240 BTU pound mass Rankine and the Constant volume is 0 0.171 BTU found mass can and the key is 1.4. Analysis from the thermal efficiency relations. 9 is equal Q unit over Q in is equal to 1 over T. L and over TH is equal to 2.5 BTU over 6 BTU. So 1 minus 510 Rankine over TH times TH is equal to 874 Rankine. State 3 may be used to determine the mass of air in the system. So M equals PBMRT. PB is over RT, so is equal to 10 PSI times 0 0.5 cubic feet and over 0 0.3704 PSI absolute cubic feet pound mass Rankine times 510 Rankine is equal to 0 0.02647 pound mass. The maximum pressure occurs at state 1. So P1 is equal to MRT1 over B1. So is equal to 0 0.02647 pound mass times 0 0.3704 PSI absolute cubic feet over pound mass Rankine times 874 Run can over 0 0.6 cubic feet is equal to 143 PSI absolute. And this is the TS diagram. So, references Wikipedia org, Haywood John B. Internal Combustion Engine Fundamentals, Mike Drohill Incorporated, 1988. Joe Mayer. Team PhD class notes from ME 333 Internal Combustion Engines 2003. Thank you and God bless.